Good morning, Thomas. Here's your machine, the Bravo Barista Express BES870. As you saw in the photos, it's in pretty good condition. It is a used machine after all, so you do expect some wear and tear. This unit has some light scratches around the front, a couple of tiny nicks here on the, on the front as well, uh, and some stains on the back plate that I couldn't really get off with um, my cleaning uh, products. So uh, a few st like light stains here, um, and like stains on top as well and some here on the on the plastic top plate um, I think this was sprayed from like water or cooking oil in this previous owner's house uh, but what's important is that there's nothing significant no massive dents and the machine works fine I just finished the service yesterday did a full cleaning cycle ground realignment um, and checked for any leaks steam or water leaks pressure volume testing Everything was fine. Absolutely no issues at all. Um, and changed actually actually changed some of the rubber rings as well. So they were, this needed about five O-rings. So it has fresh seals inside. It's not going to leak anytime soon. Cool. Next, uh, let's actually make the coffee. So um, if this was your first coffee machine, I'm going to start from the beginning and teach you the basics um, briskly. So usually we'll take... It'll take about a minute to reach temperature, but the machine has been on for five minutes now. So the lights are on already. I like to tell customers to warm up the machine before you make a coffee. This will warm the coffee that comes out, of course. So um, you don't want it to be a cold shot. Cold shots are sour and not pleasant to, to drink. Number two, it'll also clean your machine when you do the warm up procedure. Very basic. Just um, get your porta filter. Uh, it's empty now, of course. Lock it in just a little bit. Get your cup, put it underneath and press the double. This will give you hot water, about 80 mils of hot water. Uh, that will warm up at least part of your cup and it will warm up your quarter filter and group head as well. If there's any coffee or oils in the shower screen, this will clean it up as well. So um, you can do that once or twice. I'm just testing both buttons for you, for your peace of mind. Great. It's gonna stay nice and hot. I can put that on top. Stay warm. Um, you wanna take out the porta filter and dry it. Um, you're gonna add some beans. Excellent. So to dry the port filter, grab a tissue and wipe it off. Make sure it's bone dry before you grind the coffee. Um, this is the double basket. Your machine comes with four baskets and a brush and an Allen key and the manual, as you saw in the photos, and the tamper, of course. Uh, but yeah, this is a double basket. This is the one I would recommend using. Uh, this will give you the best coffee, but it will need a bit of practice and dialing in to get right. There's another type of basket called the dual wall or the double wall double shot. Uh, that one will be easier to use, but the disadvantage is that the flavor won't be as nice um, and it will be harder to clean for reasons you will discover. Um, yeah, so this takes 18 grams. I'll aim for 18 grams using my scale here. Um, I'm just going to turn it on. So we should be getting 18 grams of uh, freshly ground coffee in here. I'm using grind size number four. I've never made a coffee on it. So the only way to know you have the correct grind size is to make a coffee. But I had a look at the coffee grounds uh, texture last night and I think we should start at number four uh, and then move on from there. Uh, and I'm gonna keep that grind amount at 12 o'clock. Um, you can grind a full double dose. Personally, I like to grind the single twice. That will prevent any mess or spillage. Gonna change the coffee just because we changed the grind size last night. Okay, I'm gonna press it once and see what happens. That's the first dose. We got 9.4, so I'm just gonna dial it back just a little bit. This is nine grams now. Once you have the nine grams first dose in here, 
lightly press with the tamper to give to make way for the next uh, shot. This is my second dose. Slowly take it out. Measure. Seventeen and a half. Yeah, it should be okay. So right around the twelve o'clock position should be okay. You might get a bit more than nine grams. That's fine. Just gonna top it up to eighteen. There we go. So before you press it with a tamper, just quickly distribute it with your fingers or your hand or your palm. Um, just so that when you come to press it with a tamper, it's a nice even pressure all around. You don't want high spots and low spots. Otherwise that might affect your restriction. Press it nice and firmly. You can put it on the counter to give you more leverage. But basically, once you tamp, it should be looking something like this. So the silver part on the tamper should disappear. This silver part is like a guide. If you don't have a scale or if you're in a hurry and you just quickly want to check, just make sure you tamp. And once you tamp, make sure you tamp uh, nice and firmly. And once it it's um, disappeared, then that's like an indication that you're doing the right thing. If it hasn't disappeared and it's a bit too high, higher than this, then that's too much coffee. Um, and vice versa, if it's too deep, then that's too little coffee. Lock it in just in the middle. Um, doesn't have to be tighter than this, it's pretty stiff right here. Um, get your cup, drain the water. You can use the hot water tap here for for turning this into a long black coffee. Or um, if you'd like to brew some tea bags or warm up the cups, etc., the hot water tap is pretty nice for that. Just gonna add a bit of sugar to my coffee. And I use the hot water um, to help the sugar dissolve. Great. Now, uh, there's a few variables we're looking at. So, ground size, ground amount, pressure, volume, and time. Hopefully it's not too, too um, overwhelming for you, but the basic uh, coffee recipe is two to one. So for every gram we put in, we want two grams out. That two, so, so for example, 18 grams is what we did today. We want 36 grams out into the cup. So 36 grams of espresso. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact. It can be 32, it can be 40, that's fine. Um, but yeah, basically aim for that for a good shot, uh, generally. Uh, some coffees will taste better at longer or shorter, um, shorter, um, Shots or short lengths. Um, so once we have the 36 grams, we put in the handle. Sorry, the 18 grams we put in the handle. We want to stop the button at 36 grams. But that may take, that 36 gram shot may take 10 seconds. It may take one minute. It may take 30 seconds. The correct one is 30 seconds. Um, if it happens too quickly, so if we get a lot of coffee really quickly, then that tells us the ground size is too large and we need to grind finer to slow it down. If it gets out too slowly and it's just dripping in slow black drops instead of a constant stream, it's very slow um, and it takes a whole minute to get to our 36 gram mark, then that's um, too slow obviously and we need to speed it up by increasing the grind size. Another reason for really quick shots is old coffee or really cheap coffee. So if you're using a really bad supermarket brand that if I'm being honest, most supermarket brands that are um, bought at the shops, I will say they will probably run quickly. Uh, but anyway, um, that's, that's, that's another thing. So, grind size, that will speed up the coffee. Uh, the grind amount, we want to keep it constant at 18 grams. Uh, the time, we want to aim for 30 seconds. These buttons here are programmable. So. They go from, you can adjust them from like 20 mils all the way to like 200 mils. Uh, but to program it, it's very easy. You press program, then you press the button you want to program, 
and then you stop it once it's ready, and once you, you've reached the short, the short amount that you want. So we're gonna press the double. I'm gonna time it on my on my time here as well. So if we did everything right, we should be getting about 30 seconds for the double shot. All right, I'll stop it there. Looks like it's running a bit too quick. I'm gonna need to go a couple numbers finer. Um, so that was 15 seconds and we got 30 grams. So I reckon by the end of the 30 seconds, we would have gotten a lot of coffee. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Unfortunately, there, you will waste some coffee just trying to get it dialed in. I'm going to quickly rinse. So this second part I'm going to quickly do just because we've done it before and I don't want to waste your time. grind size we will change as the grinder is grinding so we'll go get rid of the old grind size looks a bit better Keep in mind, whatever settings I'm using now, they might not be 100% applicable to you because if you change the bean type or if you change even the same beans but different age, uh, you might you might change the settings as well. So I'm just going to get it in the ballpark for you. And then you once you get it, uh, try the settings that I'm using today and uh, see what happens. Okay, second dose, sorry, second uh, try. We will keep this at 12 o'clock. It's warming up my cup as I grind. About nine grams, great. Press again. Second dose, that's 17.8 grams. I'm happy with that. Um, you could top it up, I won't. Um, just quickly distribute it with my finger. <laughs> Same story as before, nice and Smooth surface, silver part disappears, and uh, clean the edges before you lock it in. Hot water. Do the same thing, program. 
Should be a bit slower, should be a bit higher pressure as well now. Looks like it. More like 12 o'clock pressure now. All done. So, still on the faster side, you know what I'm going to do? I will uh, bring the internal calibration one number. I won't make another coffee, but I'll bring the internal calibration one number down. Uh, I'll let you do the rest. So, once you get home, make coffee at, with these settings and see what happens. Um, yeah, that's it for me in terms of the espresso. I think this is a drinkable shot. We got 45 grams in 20 seconds. So, it is on the faster side still, but it's better than before, for sure. For sure. Um, we're gonna clean. So this will clean your shower screen and your port filter in one go. Very nice. And then if you wanna be extra nice to your machine, grab a tissue and wipe off the shower screen and the rubber seal here on top. There's always a bit of dirt to get out of uh, the machine this way, even after you flush. Uh, keep it like this to, st uh, to store it um, for the next morning. Next is the steaming. So I've got my milk jug filled with cold full cream milk. I'm going to turn on the steamer. It'll take about 15 seconds for it to start steaming, which is fine. For a dual boiler, for a single boiler machine. Um, once you hear the pump pulsating, turn it off. It will give you about five seconds after you turn it off before it reverts to espresso mode. So quickly turn it back on. Keep the milk spinning in the in the in the jug. There's many other uh, YouTubers that will teach you how to steam milk better than me, so I'm just gonna do a basic job of teaching you. Turn it off, position it at an angle. The longer you keep the tip closer to the, to the surface of the milk, the more um, foam you'll be getting. So for a latte, we don't want too much foam, we just want a little bit. So I'm gonna keep, keep the tip close to the surface only for 10 seconds at the beginning, uh, which was that, hit, that, that uh, hissing sound you heard, this one. That hissing sound, that means um, you're aerating and injecting air into the milk. I'm gonna turn, keep it spinning and then I'll turn it off once it's too hot to the touch. Which is usually about 60 degrees Celsius. Before you let it go back to espresso mode, just give it a clean by purging. Then grab a wet towel and wipe it off. Now it's cooling down, and once the lights go on, there we go, it's ready to make another coffee. Very smart machine. Yeah, make sure you wipe the wand straight away, just because it gets really hot uh, as you steam, and the milk will basically bake on top of it, so... You want to prevent that by wiping it off straight away before that happens. Um, very nicely frothed milk. Just knock it on the counter to break any big air bubbles in the milk. Swirl it up. Just swirl it around to mix it up. Um, and keep doing this until the surface is nice and smooth. Yeah, looking really good. If you have any form of latte art training or barista experience, I'm sure you can do some latte art with this machine. 
Uh, I occasionally get the, the hot, the occasional hot by chance. Um, I don't usually try for it. Um, there we go. Latte on your machine, Thomas. I uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.